got involved with the asparagus industry roughly in the mid 70s. Um, asparagus industry in Michigan was kind of expanding at the time. Uh, I've got more of a fruit background, but uh, my my first job out of college was in this area, and and of course every fruit grower that I visited also had an asparagus field, and something about the crop just absolutely fascinated me, and it wasn't long, and and I really really just wanted to spend all my time in asparagus fields. And um, at the time, in the mid 70s, we were working with mechanical harvesters. Uh, we were working with mechanical harvesters in the 80s and in the 90s and the 2000s, and we're still working on them today. So as, as long as I've been involved in the asparagus industry, um, someone around the world has been working on uh, mechanical harvesters and we keep hearing that uh, we're getting close but we need another year or another month or another this or another that. Um, we actually have had a harvester, we have a harvester that was developed here in Michigan that does a pretty good job. Um, we tested it for two or three years here at the research farm. The individual made us a little one row machine and we very care, very carefully studied side-by-side uh, -side comparisons between hand harvest and we came up with about a 30 to 40 percent reduction in yield. It does a nice job of getting the asparagus out of the field but obviously it picks some short spears that uh, if you allow those to develop gives you more total yield over the season. So uh, that's kind of a non-selective machine. Uh, the New Zealanders are working on a machine. There's folks in California that have been working on a machine. A lot of work has been done in Washington State, and uh, we're still waiting. I'm not real hopeful. Uh, I think that the tech technology is out there. Um, one of the problems is, is that there's just not a huge amount of acreage of asparagus in the world. So the market for a, a mechanical harvester would be somewhat limited. Um, it's not like carrots or snap beans or something like that where there's millions and millions of acres that if you did develop something you would have a you know a great market so we've had a little bit of a difficult time attracting private industry into into the development um, we have gotten some grants in the past in fact we've got a new committee now uh, in the United States that are uh, looking at mechanical harvesting and looking at um, basically finding sources of, of some funding to do that work, but uh, boy, I don't see it happening in the near future. Mm -hmm.